brain is incredibly complex. I mean, far more complex than than any computer that uh, that we've created or that any machine that that's been created. The brain has billions of cells. Each cell has thousands of collections, and so uh, it, it it is a great mystery. The problem of neurology is to understand man himself. This is the the final frontier. The brain uh, is really a special organ in the sense that it really is what makes humans human. And we really don't understand, you know, the vast uh, majority of, of how the brain works and, and even what it's doing at, at, at a number of important levels. Uh, I'm a mother. <laughs> That's probably the most important uh, job I've ever had. Um, I spent my life in advocacy for Indigenous rights and social justice. Uh, I also spent time in policy, diversity, equity, inclusion and accessibility, and uh, policing. Well, as a patient, and you know, um, one of your questions was, what is a patient's place, right? And, and that word place really stuck out in me. Even to use a place, yes, we've always been put in our place as the subject. And there's been talk in research about changing that language, right? Because when you call us a subject, you're not really looking at us as a person, like that you're trying to actually help save a life. The Neuro was created in 1934 with the simple uh, ethos that the patient is at the center of everything we do. And so we start with patients, uh, we find the problems that the patients have, and then we go to the bench to understand, to find ways of improving, and then from the bench we go back to the patient. And so it's, it's a circle where we start with the patient, we end with the patient. We've been doing this now for, for almost 80 years and uh, it's at the center of what we do. More recently, we've adopted open science uh, and the open science principles really are totally in keeping with the uh, philosophy of the, with the creation of the neuro. We think that science should be something that benefits everyone. You know, we're, we're working for our patients uh, patients want to get treatments for their diseases that are affecting their lives and the best way to do that is sharing uh, knowledge, sharing uh, uh, materials, sharing techniques. I think open science will, will help uh, reveal the mysteries of the brain by allowing more uh, researchers with different views on how the brain might work. And that emphasis on open science is um, spans the kind of range of things that are pertinent from the bench all the way to the bedside. And so uh, that has to do with research practices. So, you know, uh, that's sharing of data sets. It also has to do with uh, sharing of research methodologies. So, you know, um, the, all of the different methods that go into analyzing data and collecting data. Um, and I think the other piece that the neuro is bringing to this idea of open science is also considering the perspective of the patient. When you come here, when people tell you that they're going to take good care of you, you know that that's real. You know it from walking in the door from the first people you meet. You know, I mean, they're all in this building somewhere. We could go around with the camera and maybe meet some of them. <laughs> One of them is in the room. You know, everybody you meet here just embraces you. You know, as much as the neuro gives me, I want to give back to the neuro. And, um, you know, when, when people say that they have got my best interest in mind, I truly believe it. You need people who can donate biological matter, right? You do how great of a contribution that could be and, and how meaningful it is, it's also touching. So we created here at the Neuro uh, a biobank. And, and this biobank is not like other biobanks for a number of reasons. 
first of all, it's from our patients. And so in the biobank, there is longitudinal information about the first visit and the second visit and all the tests and the test results. Even the imaging is available. And we make DNA and take other kinds of biological samples. And for many of them, we make induced pluripotent stem cells that are these stem cells that can be made into uh, all kinds of different neurons or, or brain-like structures. And we need to be able to really share and be open. We're doing it as an institution and we're making it widely available. To understand the brain, we're going to have to share everything. Uh, open science is going to be critical to being able to understand the brain. It's so complex. Uh, we need a, an army of people who are studying the brain, looking at data that's generated on the brain. We need many new ideas. Uh, and so the way I see the understanding of the brain is it's going to increase slowly, incrementally, but it's going to increase because of the vast amount of data that's being generated and shared and uh, looked at by many, many different people. You know, I, I think we can really change. We can save the world, so to speak. In that way, I'm truly honored and blessed to be here. <laughs>